I took 2P with me when I left. 1S was too agitated to safely open the cell without chancing his escape. And I was... Not at full strength. I locked 2P in a room alone while I recuperated. Normally isolation is a punishment, but this time I... Wanted some time to myself. 2P was already upset when we left, and being left alone for so long did no favors. Are you mad at us? Please don't hurt him. Please don't hurt my brother. He didn't mean to, I swear. I'm not angry. Come on. Uh, really? You aren't mad at him? I would have done the same thing in his place. I'm in no position to judge. I should have been more careful. Are you mad at me? Such a fragile state would lead to usual comforting on his return, or so I thought. This time, though... Brother? Things did not go as usual. How could you do that? He... he was hurt. I... We could have escaped. We could have gotten out of here and you threw it away for him! Well, what was I supposed to do? Let him die! It's not like he doesn't deserve it after everything he's done to you! He should have died! If I was the one out there, I would have... You... You would have... How could you? How could you let someone... How could you choose him over me? They did not say anything more. When I checked in on them before I left, I saw for the first time that they were sleeping apart. I'd long assumed that the bond they developed was unbreakable, only strengthening under duress. Anything done to drive them apart would only bring them closer together. It appears that I was wrong.